Hi, and welcome to TFYLP Microcasters. I uh, got the usual crew with us tonight. Uh, myself, Christian. Hello. And Anna. Greetings. You sound very excited. Anna. I am so pumped for more repaints. <laughs> is it is it because you uh, started school again? Your semester officially started this week, right? Yeah, that actually gets me kind of excited. Oh, okay. I like let me job. tell you, I'm always excited when I go back to work. <laughs> I am. I'm a little nervous about yesterday. I have lots of, ne- or wait, yesterday's not the day after today. Tomorrow. I'm a little nervous about tomorrow. <laughs> Why I have are lots you of new students tomorrow. Oh, okay. I only had four new students in my class tonight. Is that good? Oh, Hi. we uh, are, were we supposed to do play, uh, Star Saber tonight? Did, Sorry, did we I, say that? Do any uh, of us have Star Saber? What Star Saber? Of course. What are, what are you talking about, Anna? Of course, uh, I have Star Saber. You have everything for a minute. <laughs> they leave. Right. Isn't it say wait wait until next week when I don't have it anymore? Right. That is what will happen. I guess I can go upstairs and get my Star Saber. It's up on my fancy shelf. I can. Oh, my Dinobot's downstairs. I can't even hold him up and be like, oh, talk about Dinobot, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. Well, you showed up Dinobot on uh, TFLP this last weekend. I did, I did. He'll show up tomorrow and ask for my wallet. Hey. <laughs> He's not exactly super expensive, but he was not cheap. <laughs> You know, I, I think it's funny um, in, in this hobby where, you know, if you would have talked to you like five years ago, right, would you have classified that figure as cheap or expensive? Would I even believe that the person who bought a $95 knockoff is myself? <laughs> it was 94 You wouldn't let me charge you 95 It's true. I was a jerk about it. I remember. But I also just bought a hundred and ten dollar knockoff as well. So that's true. You did. First. What? I you can't check what did you just buy? Check Commander, the the oversized Superion. Oh, is that the Jujang one? Yeah. Yeah. You you have to let me Jujang. know how it is. I always like was wondering about that figure, but like I never actually wanted to spend the money to. Yeah, I just got it so I could see if I um if I like it better than the normal size because I'm gonna see if I prefer for Superion to be fighting my Titans because there's no Autobot Titan so it can be a substitute for an Autobot Titan combiner. Yeah, I mean. Lux and Fort Max. Oh, it, they're, they're not combiners. It's not fun. Right. Like all the Titans are Autobots. This is like they can have some sort of like street gain fight that turns into a combiner fight. See, you're trying to get you know giant combiners, and I'm trying to get mine even smaller. Yeah, and yeah, I think that's hilarious because you got a small version of a Titan combiner, and I got a Titan version of a normal size combiner. We'll please. see though. I I might hate it, and then I'll sell it. Please, please give me a small Predaking. That's all I want in life now. Weren't uh, uh, didn't really some knockoff company show off a small Predaking? No, it was just the regular Predaking all in a box set with the sword. Oh, it's the same one that Anna got. Anna got the. Beijing ones. Only mine doesn't have a sword. Because you got the individual releases. <laughs> yeah, because I bought them as they came out and was punished. But the box should come be. with a sword. Wait, the individual ones don't come with a sword? Nope. No. They, uh. they, so, like, the thing is, when they showed, like, their prototype, right, they totally showed it with a sword. Right. And it was like, you buy your first one, and you're like, where's the sword at? You buy your second one, and you're like, where's the sword at? So you buy the chess guy, and you totally expect there to be a sword in the package. There's no sword in the package. Right after the last one came out, it was like, surprise, we'll totally sell you the sword for eight bucks. And um, also, oh, we're going to sell it in a box set for like $15 cheaper with the sword. Um, it was great. I feel betrayed by those traders. I, I like that kind of like in, in for all the stuff, but then the extra eight dollars, you're like, whoa, whoa, whoa! Like I gotta draw the line somewhere here. So I have to draw a line somewhere, and I don't draw it up lines these days. 
<laughs> well, like, it, se- it seems like the, the, having the sword, like, as its own piece makes sense because then that way people that have the real figure can actually go and get the sword, like, on its own. Yes, rather than having their... to get the DNA set. I think that's their goal. They have produced a third-party sword upgrade for $8, which nobody sells their third-party upgrades that cheap. So they will probably... They'll own the sword market. <laughs> right. For the five minutes it lasts before everyone has I one. Say, I, over. I, I might have actually... If I didn't get... Because I got the DNA set uh, for yeah. my Predaking, right? And, and uh, I may have actually considered just getting the sword because... I like most of the other stuff. Like, I mean, the wings are nicer um, and, yeah. you know, the extra pieces in the set are nice, but it's like, eh, is it $50 nice? I don't know. Not really. So we should probably talk about the toys that oh, we're supposed the to talk about tonight, right? Well, yeah, so, so, yeah. So, so I guess here we have $100 for the toys, right? Is that right? Maybe. We have a what? What kind yeah, of We have $100 for the toys. Right? Yeah, pretty much. Two, two Amazon sets, because uh, Skywarp, they like did the sneaky thing where uh, the, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, he was like, in, if you want to complete your Seekers, you have to get the Amazon exclusive, um, which comes with like a bunch of other junk to bump up the price of 50 bucks. It comes with $18 worth of Target Masters to get it up to 50 which that math is totally at our advantage. See, you ruined it by saying it's $100 of toys, because I'm looking at all of them together, and I'm like, hmm. Oh, this ain't a hundo of toys. Yeah. My, my other hundo of toys is way bigger. I was going to say, you could get that, or you could get a knockoff Dinobot. Well, okay, I don't think he's actually bigger than all these guys stacked on top of each other. He's pretty dang huge, but... Oof. Oof. All right, well, on that note, who do you want to start with? Now that we've made Christian contemplate his existence... <laughs> I know. Well, you know, it's, it's one of those things, too. Like, so we've had so many of these exclusive sets come out, you know, and they just keep coming, bam, 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 to where... you. I, I mean, I don't know, like, at least I haven't, like, been thinking about it as much about, like, oh, this, you know, here's $50, here's $50. Like, the, what was the other, um, like, this guy, which I don't think we've even, like, talked about, right? Um, the uh, Galactic Man. Oh, yeah. So he was, that... Yeah, like, he was $50, too, right? The lighting on yours, just, I thought you were just holding a purple sound wave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is my is my lighting weird? It's, it comes it's like a smoky room. I don't know. I guess I guess I need my white balances off or something. I don't know. But yeah, this is you can tell sure. by the red eye. Yes, so, he was also fifty bucks, and he also you know came out around the same time. I mean, all of these guys are from the night of nine hundred ninety nine pre orders. Right. Which is not the night of a thousand pre orders. Thanks, Walgreens. Yeah, so do you I, want to talk so about excited. Sideswipe first? Um, we can talk about Sideswipe first. Oh, sure. Sideswipe. Sideswipe. Okay. Well, don't forget uh, about his... Sideswipe. Don't forget about Sideswipe's buddy, too. Trench. We'll talk buddy. about buddies. So this is actually Sideswipe's covert clone, not actually Sideswipe. And this is the car mode for her Sideswipe. Yeah. I want to say mode. that, like... I always like to start with the um, vehicle modes myself because it's what I do. Um, and uh, I want to say that, like, I am really strangely split on whether or not I like this vehicle mode. It's, it's like, it's good, and I love the colors, and I like the way they try to do the effects of the red. But just something about it, it somehow looks worse it than the, the original green. paint job on Sideswipe. That might be it. It needs to add the neon green. Repo labels will take care of you. Great. Only another like ten dollars on this hundred dollar toy set. Eh, catch them on sale. Yeah, has, right, uh, has Toy Hacks have they have they shown off a set yet? I don't think they have, have they? For this, no. They just did the yeah. remakers, so I'm getting out there quick. Right. Maybe next month. I'm sure. 
I don't know. I so, really yeah, like the little target master that comes with with this guy though. So I think I think it helps it up oh. a lot. Yeah. His name is Trench Foot, right? Not Trench Mouth, like I was confusing it last week. Yep. Trench, trench Mouth foot. is from Revenge of the Fallen. Trench Foot is right here. Yay. So I can see um, Randall just mentioned that it looks like the last night hot rod. You know, I definitely see that yeah. comparison. Mm-hmm. I also see the comparison to, um, oh, which one is it? Which one of the um, two guys that look the same? That's such a unique thing to Transformers, right? The black one and the white one that are angry pullback cars. Run amok and runabout. Yeah. Thank you. This is what yeah, I forget to words. <laughs> that was fun. That was a fun challenge. Well, they're going to do a runabout and runabout. Yeah, run amok and runabout. As right, well. but didn't yeah. didn't didn't run of the black one have um uh red? Yeah. 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 So it's kind of like captures his. Like I just that was terrible word vomit on my play part. I actually had that toy growing up, too. You would think I would know what it was. The one that looked like the other one. All right. Got it. <laughs> the two guys that look the Helpful. same. Um, totally rare. So I want to mention one thing about these Target Masters. Is, uh, I'm, I'm super excited because they're actually painted pretty well, like on these exclusive yeah. sets. They are. So that's the exciting thing for me because that was my biggest complaint. Um for the individual releases it's like i'm paying five bucks and there's like not a lick of paint on them but these are actually painted pretty well yeah trenchy is not bad my only complaint is that yes they put paint and they put details on it but they did not touch the arms or legs which tells me that they will never touch arms or legs probably not. maybe they're made on payable plastic i'm trying to think the other yeah, the other sets don't have paint on the arms or legs either, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess the... I, I'm surrounded by um, Target Masters right now, I don't know why. Um, but the Legends ones, you know, they would put paint on the arms yep. and legs. Not a yeah, lot, the, but... The, this ain't Takara yeah. here, you know. Well, you know. He looks a lot better than Blowpipe. Or whatever. Oh yeah, drive, absolutely. Fire drive and blowpipe and aimless and this fire, whatever. All those guys. So yeah. Anyway, um, yeah. The the what you're getting here is you're getting the sideswipe, which is already a great toy. Um, mine was pretty tight, but not scary tight, like another um figure that we'll gets you in a second. Um, the deco is good as long as you like it. Like I said, there's just something about this car mode that bothers me. It's literally those red stripes on the side that drives me crazy. But, you know, because they're not like stripes. They're just a chunk of plastic that happens to be red incongruently with the rest of the figure. Um, But, you know, the littlest things get me aggravated. This is actually a cool-looking car mode. It's a cool-looking figure. And, you know, it's a repaint of an already fantastic figure. There's nothing new on it, though, just in case people didn't know. Right? It's the same. There's no remolding whatsoever. It's a clone, Anna. Yeah, well, whatever. I'm trying to tell people the truth. <laughs> uh, the weapon is <laughs> now, which looks good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the weapon looks good. You're right. That is a good point. The weapon is not a long piece of chunk. It is a slightly piece of chunk. It looks way better. It looks way better. There is an Sorry, what? This is pretty much the same one. Anna, you're being so What did you say, Robot Anna? Beep, boop, boop, boop. I said that there aren't mold changes. That was the only point I was trying to make. Oh, okay. That these guys are straight up super repaints. They're well Which some people repaints. don't like. They're well what? Oh, they're nice. It's not like it's a bad thing per se. It's just a thing. Again, I'm trying to inform the public. It's true. Of the truth of these figures. All right, you want to inform about the next thing that I can show them? Uh, yeah, you can show the vehicle mode. All right, this is Grand Slam. People are not happy with Grand Slam because he forms the feet of Slam Dance. And apparently some people have been ripping their feet off and snapping the knees and whatever. Uh, I don't have that problem, which is great. Apparently 
according to some circles, that makes me a Transformers god. Um, but here he is, the Grand Slam. Also, his best friend, Rain Dance. Rain Dance, Grand Slam. Plainy so guy. before we throw out the attribution to the people for breaking their own figures, was yours as tight as everyone else's? No. No, okay. Because mine is. Mine is super scary tight. Like, you cannot move this left foot without feeling great fear. Um, I very carefully transformed him back and forth to his vehicle modes um, just so I could look at him once. But And also prove that I could not break a figure because sometimes I break figures that I feel sad. But um, I definitely don't want to transform it again, like ever again. Because it is super tight and super nervous. I'm sure it'll loosen up after, over time. Yeah, if you continue to play with it. But don't most people not like the alternate mode for this figure anyway? The the kind of big tank and the okay airplane? I, I've not heard that. I mean, I like the alt oh. modes. I, I think for this one, I don't know. Like, I would rather them be tapes just because the originals were tapes. Um, but... That would be my only complaint. It's a fairly good compromise, though. I'm happy yeah. with it. I mean, I think... It's kind of funny, repaint, though. Um, yeah, for, for a repaint or whatever of a, a obscure character, you know I mean? It's... The only thing I'm not happy with is the tank turret gun here, the longer one it has. Mm -hmm. uh, mine is mismolded just a little bit, because putting it in the hole here for the turret, instead of, like, over here on the side, put it in the middle, uh, is making stress marks on that port. But doesn't... That so, happened with the original, too, with flywheels. Did it? Yeah. Bummer. Mine was like that, that on the original it. as well as it was just... Or maybe I just put it like this and had two on the side. Who knows? There you go. But still, carrying over from Sideswipe, or Covert Clone Sideswipe, uh, the paint on these is really good. Um, it's it really kind, is. Of, kind of minimal in, in vehicle modes, but oh, I guess Rain Dance is pretty well painted. Yeah. Grand Slam has Grand Slam has uh, painted treads, which is unusual for tank form, which usually just kind of left black. But uh, since they're molded in red, they got painted silver. They look really good. Yeah, and then it's nice. Rain Dance has cockpit, uh, stripes on the wings, stripes on the tail. Looks very good. So Mike just mentioned that they would rather have the G1 Slam Dance reissued. I want to make a comment that I think it's funny because we get the dual cons with Power of the Primes, right? And they actually added a mode by adding the individual robot modes. With mm -hmm. this guy, they actually subtracted a mode because now it's vehicle to nothing to robot instead of vehicle to tape to robot. So it's like they took the extra mode from these guys, which was a tape, which is relatively useless and gave it to the Duocons as a robot mode, which is relatively useful, even though they both look kind of dumb in robot mode, but that's okay. Um, I still think I it's a good trade. I would have liked for these to have had individual robot modes. like uh, Yeah, me Bally, too. Did. It was weird to start that for the subgroup. And there's only two, two characters in the subgroup, so it's weird to have one of them have that and the other one doesn't. Did... um. Oh, what's his face? The the Duocon. What is the name of that one again? Flywheels. Flywheels and Battle Trap. No, you, you said the right one. Battle Trap. Yeah, Flywheel. Battle Trap. Thank you. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, Flywheels is the other one. But did um, Battle Trap get any characterization in the comics? Or even get featured at all? Yes. That's a big yes? question. Yes, okay. <laughs> well, I was just wondering, because I know that Flywheels, even though it was a very short appearance was in the comics. In ADW, so yeah. I was just curious if like that making him into a single entity with like, you know, a story caused them to keep it as a single person where oh, that with Battle Trap they could turn into two. That's just yeah. that is just I'm like sure Battle Trap was something in G one. No, the reason the reason they did it is is because it was the line that it came in. So in um Battle Trap came out in Power of the Primes, right? And it came out as a Legends class figure. So you can't sell a figure without it, like, having its own, like, mode or whatever, right? Because if a kid right. bought that figure on his own, he would freak out if it didn't turn into something. So that's the reason that they did it that way, whereas Flywheels 
was in in siege and it's one deluxe figure or whatever so that's that's the reason that they did it that way um you know is just sad yeah i mean it makes the diversity of holes though right because now the sculpting is there for a duo con that doesn't turn into separate figures and also for a duo con that does turn into separate so like if they wanted to remold or repaint in the future, they have options to go either direction, which is kind of a cool advantage. I don't know. Ironically, I actually prefer Flywheels to be the way that he is, um, just because it's kind of like the G1 figure. Um, and yeah. so I probably would have rather had that. Now, Slam Dance, again, because it's like G1 or whatever, I would have rather had the extra mode, but it's... It's whatever. So, but I, I will say, you know, one thing about all of these exclusives that they're doing all that, I do love all the paint that they have and I love the way that they're doing it now. Whereas, you know, this kind of stuff, if they threw this in as a uh, Transformers Collectors Club or whatever, it would have been like three times the price or twice whatever. And it's just because, like, that's the way the economics worked of the club. Like, there's no way that yeah. they could do, do it like this. Whereas, like, here Hasbro is able to partner with a retail partner, you know, create an exclusive for them and, you know, subsidize it, whatever. And, you know, the economics uh, works out, I feel like a lot better. So, and I think a lot of again, people that comparison. It, it makes a lot of sense. Um, I know earlier in the chat, um, I think it was Catherine was mentioning about, yeah, that's what you know, about why, to say. why is it that, that, uh, Hasbro Pulse doesn't have exclusives or whatever, but they're charging 50 bucks a year for, you know, if you want to do premium. So, I mean, to me, I feel like that the premium, at least what it seems like right now is one, it's, uh, you know, you're free shipping for the year. So it's kind of like Amazon prime where you essentially are prepaying for your shipping for the year. And then the other thing that they've been doing too is, is that, uh, the exclusives I think are going up uh, like this uh, San Diego Comic-Con exclusives are going up a day early for uh, Pulse as well. So, yep. um, the I'm, one... Oh, sorry, go on. I'm going to agree with them, though. The, these pay services, these premium services, they all really have to have a good showing on their first year to succeed. Like, if you think about, like, it's pretty much the model to give a cheap or free first year to people for minimal effort. Like um, Nintendo with the switch right now did a free year with Amazon prime and they have, you know, that year to put out as many quality free games as possible to get people hooked to the service. And in my opinion, they're doing pretty good pulse. On the other hand, this is going to be my year unless things change. This is going to be my one year free shipping. And then I'll probably never buy the service again. Um, See, See, I would actually argue that I think it provides a lot of value. And, and the reason is, is because um, a lot of these figures, like you can buy them individually. So if you don't want to get like the whole cake, like, cause I, I've had to do this for like a lot of the figures, like power of the primes and whatever else is, is like in order to get one of the figures in the case, I end up getting the other one, like um, the leader class, um, or you had to pay a premium. I was trying to think of uh, Optimus Primal or whatever that they did. Um, yeah. The, um, like that or whatever. It was hard to get that. You had to pay a huge markup because they had to split that's the case true. up with another one. And so that's where I think it's a huge advantage is in, in if you're a Marvel Legends collector, like that's really good because a lot of those premium figures, like you can't find that stuff at the store. Like if you wanted a beast or whatever from the X-Men wave, like it's just going to be impossible to go and track him down comparatively to the other ones. And if you're paying big, like big bad toy store or whatever, um, you know, normally those figures, they'll mark up at least $5 for individual figures. And so, like, and they come paying, in later. right. So, so for example, like if you want a beast figure from, you know, and you were only going to get that figure um, from big bad or whatever, you pay an extra, you pay $25 plus you pay $4 for, you know, they're cheap shipping. So that, I mean, you're in $30 for that. Whereas Hasbro Pulse is, is 20. So I, I do think that for certain people, I think that it, the economics makes sense. Like I think for others, yeah. Like Amazon prime probably makes more sense or, or, you know, just whatever, like, or go into your local store that, that may, may make more sense too. But, um, you know, I, I think that for myself for next year, um, 
you know, I'll probably continue to, I don't know. I'll, I'll have to try to decide what, you know, what I want to do, but um, I don't know. I, I've yes. been happy with it so far. Same for me. I'm definitely gonna have to consider it. I've definitely gotten my fifty dollars of free shipping. I didn't pay fifty dollars in the beginning because they had that promo thing where if you ordered right after they launched, they would give it to you, right. which was great. Um, but the best thing about it is that Pulse has been consistently first to get anything out to me. Right. Like every time. If you want something fast, you're gonna be the first people to get it. And you know we have a review show here, so it's important that I get stuff quickly. Um, Pulse has been really consistent with that. Although I, I will I say that be, Amazon has gotten some stuff pretty early too. Like, yeah. Um, let's say my thunder. Like I ended up not, getting Thundercracker. Not studio series. Of, what's that for Studio not Series? Not Studio for, Series. Oh, okay. Well, I split between Amazon and Pulse, and I've been getting things pretty reliably early enough for this. Um, I will say though that like one bad thing about having the pulse free shipping that I am very aware of since I'm not the like huge chug buyer of everything that you two are is that purchases like this, like buying this Lancer, I probably actually would not have made that purchase if I did not have the ability to just buy the one figure with free shipping very easily from pulse. I probably would have actually held back, which would have kept me from opening my other two female Autobots, and I probably would have sold them um, by now. So I think that I think it's doing its job and getting me to spend more money, which I'm aware of. So I might need to opt out. <laughs> That's funny. Well, one thing I do want to mention on Sideswipe as well is, is I think it's interesting that the battle damage or whatever that they did on the figure. Like, so they just put this little battle damage at the bottom, which is different from um, the other uh, sideswipe. Where did my other sideswipe go? Here. Oh, are you showing in your other camera? What? Are you showing your other yeah, camera? Yeah, he is. Okay, cool. I just can't see it. Yeah, so my, yeah, sorry, Christian, that's not on Skype. But anyway, so like. <laughs> If you if you look at these two guys, like the uh, the paint is different on them, right? So this begs the question, right? So they've you know they can do different paint decos for the same mold, right? So why in the world did they make the seekers like every freaking last last six of them all have the exact same like decos <laughs> on them, right? Like I mean they're different colors, but all of them are the same. So it's like you know, I don't know. And and I, and I also think, too, what's weird about this battle damage is, is, like, half of these figures looks like that they just are walking through, like, robot mud or something. So it's like, I, I don't know, it just seems, it seems weird the way, like, like I think that, the, like, doing washes and everything on the figures, I, I think would be, is a cool idea. But, like, the execute, like, I think that this, the battle damage, I think, on Sideswipe looks really cool. Like I like the silver and I think it's all over or whatever. Like this, where it just looks like it's some like little mud on the bottom of his stuff. It's like, I kind of would rather just not have it at all. Yeah. I'd rather get actual paint applications than this, but uh, you know, Hasbro heard us when we said we didn't want stickers anymore for proud of the primes and we got this instead. So yeah, I think, uh, I think we'll probably be okay in the future. Oh yeah. yeah. I mean, I think o overall, like, you know, I'm, I, I'm criticizing it, but at the same time, like, overall, I, I don't think that it's bad, and I love the extra paint on it. I hated the trash stickers that they were using, so um, I think that this is a better option. Um, I, I just think it, like, I would rather them plan it out a little bit better, and I don't know. I'm sure they probably spent a lot of time like actually trying to figure this stuff out, you know, and I'm sitting here, you know, tearing it down. But at the same time, like, you know, I, I don't know. I think it could have been done a, a little bit better than what it was. But it's just because those stickers were frustratingly bad. Like, I actually have no problem with stickers. Like, no, a good sticker on a figure, I'm fine with. Like, all the designs they came up with were great, I think. But uh, just the quality of it was so bad. I'd rather do tampos. Like, I mean, if... if tampos are fine. You know. Yeah. Before so. we finish with this figure, though, I did want to say that um, on my side swipe, at least, just maybe you might want to be careful with the feet. They were like pretty much almost as tight as um 
as uh, d d d d the other guy's feet, uh, yeah. Slim Nance's feet, um, almost as tight. So I was afraid I was going to break them. I was very careful. I used tools. I took a long time to get them out. And I eventually got it to transform just fine. It went back to robot mode just now without me breaking it as well. They don't feel as tight as they were. But that initial movement was really difficult. So I haven't heard of anyone breaking the feet. But, you know, do you really want to be the first? You probably don't. So I've been tight on every use of that mold so far. Mm -hmm. Huh. My so, original wasn't, but I'm getting yeah. a new one soon. <laughs> yeah, my, my side swipe and red alert were that way too. Um, one thing that I actually do to help me with transforming the feet is like on the bottom, they've got those holes. And so like, I'll actually use his weapon and stick that yeah. in there to help out with pulling, uh, pulling them out. And I also, when I do it, I try to grab it towards the bottom of the feet rather than the top, just cause that is something I've been, you know, I, I haven't like, I don't have any stress marks on it or anything, but that is something I've been worrying about as well. So should we talk about the the, the largest figure from the set? Yes. The Scorp. Uh, Look at Skywarp. Mine still has his little plastic Yay. things hanging on him. <laughs> so I haven't bothered wrangling them off yet. Are, are we doing um, Thundercracker at some point, too? Like, I, was say, I might I mean, as well throw Thundercracker in here, too, since I have him. <clears throat> I'm not buying Thundercracker. Just, just show him. How can, You've done two Thunder secret shows already. Thunder, yeah, I was going to say, Thundercracker, like, dude, the, the funny thing is, is Thundercracker is, like, the best one. Like, if oh, I yeah. were to, to pick, like, one figure of, like, if there was, like, one Seeker that I was going to get, this would probably be really? the one. I think that the colors are probably the best on it overall. Um, for, like, my opinion, personally. I like Red Wing better, but, yeah. Yeah, I think good that too. what I'm going to do with my Seekers is I'm just going to keep Skywarp and Red Wing and get rid of the rest of them. I just don't want this many of the same mold. It's just, it's not consistent with my idea of self. <laughs> it's a lot. It's, it's a lot, especially you know, for me. You guys saw my big Seeker wall uh, a couple episodes ago. It took a lot to get all those. I really like that mold. It looks all good together. I don't know. I think the Tetra Jets may be just a bit big. Maybe I'd feel different if they were earthbound modes instead. But as is, I yeah, can't but, replace my classic Seekers with these. But you could display these all in the robot modes and your classic ones all in the jet modes. That's what I'm doing you get right the best now. of both worlds. Well, I know. I know. That's what happens to you. Um, I don't know if I've got the endurance. And I know, of course I do, and of course it will happen. But I don't know if I have the endurance to get, like, cone heads and sunstorm and other re repaints down the line i don't know if they'll do cone heads from this mold yeah, it'll, be interesting. it'll be interesting to see what they end up doing with the cone heads like i feel like that would be the easy thing for them to do is literally just not even really remold anything just to just throw out cone heads in this and change Never the colors had. up i think they'd probably change the wings or at least give some sort of tampo to make it look like the other wings somehow, especially for thrust. Might. Yeah. To make it look like I could see it as just getting a new head and nothing else. I could really see that at this point. Oof. I don't know if I have the <laughs> to get through that. I, I agree with Randall. Yeah. Give me all the seekers. Every last one of them. <laughs> yeah, I already got them all. You guys enjoy it. I need to opt out. This is not my this is not how I, I plan things. I already did it. It took me 13 years. <laughs> and all, do it. I started it over. Always, always more Seekers. I it never ends. Finished. Like, I finished getting the last classic Seekers I wanted probably six weeks before I got Siege Starscream. But what if, just imagine, the Hasbro enables you to get all of them again, but this time without any KOs? If they throw a Black Death in there somehow, or Shadow Glass, all of this. Now, now Christian so too. Fun. Don't don't forget. You know that there's going to be a version three Masterpiece Seeker too. Like you know that's coming there is, there is. at some point. Uh, you know I don't feel strongly about getting Masterpiece Seekers. 
I know I'm buying Meteor from you, but that's because it looks good. But that doesn't mean I'm going to get rid of my MP3 because I tried for a long time to get that one. Yeah. The rest of them I have. I have the Yes Model Coneheads. I have the MP11 Thundercracker, but the MP3 Skywarp. So, whatever. I don't really care as much. They're, they're a Motley crew. Back to Skywarp. The only real thing to note on him that people did not expect was that he's not black. He is, in fact, a pretty dark gray, which is okay. different than we usually see Skywarp depicted. I honestly think it looks really good, like the the dark gray and the purple and the silver spots. Um, I honestly wish the silver spots were more random, 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 random and that they were like something else over here. But, but you, know, know, you can't have everything. Can't have everything. Um, I do really like the way this one looks, though. Like, so far out of the ones that I've actually opened, I never opened my Red Wing. Um, I think he's the coolest looking of the Seekers. Get a good deal of paint, get good details, and I like the way the colors work out. Even though Skywarp isn't supposed to be gray, whatever, it looks cool. It's only black or sometimes very, very dark gray. <laughs> Lego. Although I just realized that the head is actually so black. <laughs> it is. Yeah, it's a different color than anything else. Uh, poops. It's all right. I'm fine with it. He's beautiful. But then again, you know, like, you know how I collect. I needed a Skywarp. My current Skywarp is an MP3 missing a thumb. So I needed to replace him with a better Skywarp. And now I think I have one because I hate MP3. Um, so I'm in good shape. You didn't know I didn't like MP3. God, I hate that figure so much. Oh, it's awful. Do you want to take the lead on Skywarp's little buddies? Yeah, I can't. He's, he's um, one yeah. actual buddy and everyone else's buddies that come with him. Uh, which ones did... I have them all around me. Remind me again which ones he actually came with. I'm surrounded. I know he came um, with I'm, the, showing, I'm showing the three off right here. So two of them are like purple and then... Um, right, is, purple axe, purple Fragus. gun, and then well-painted gun. This is Fracus. He's good. So... Purple Ox is currently in Lancer's hands because purple and purple, and I wanted all of my female Autobots to have animal friends for some reason. I guess it's going for some sort of weird magical girl theme. It's kind of weird. Whatever. Um, the Ox one is just purple. Like, I really don't feel like there's better paint on her. It's just a purple version of an already awesome figure because I really like it. <laughs> I like the ones that turn to melee weapons except for lion garbage. But, you know. <laughs> what what is wrong with what about lion garbage? It's just not good. No, castle. it's it's not a good sword. It's not good. No, it's it's an okay weird little cat thing, but it's not a good sword. And so we have. Does anyone remember the actual name of this? Because this is it's build a shroot, but he's one of Spinister's dudes, and I can't remember what his name actually is. But he's named Shroot because he's named after Dwight from The Office. Because Dwight is a uh, pencil pushing, uh, whatever busybody, and that's with the exact same deal as uh, the, this guy's original name. I can't remember what it is. I don't think I ever knew it. I, it's okay. <sighs> so frustrated. You know, one thing I'm noticing is Skywarp. Does he have metal flake in his, um, like in the mold? Like the the actual black like black gray whatever you call it or whatever is that metal flake in there? Yeah. It looks yeah. It looks shiny. It's sparkly. Sparkly whatever yeah. or glitter I guess whatever. I eat again. So a question about these target masters and you know I think I should be the one to answer this question even though I I don't know the answer. Um, is there only two base bodies right now of the guns? Okay, and there's different there's different gun chunks on the back of them. There's a yep. couple of those at least, but there's only two base bodies. Yep. The 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 chest peg and the back peg. Yep. That sucks because I hate the way the chest peg looks. I own like four of it now, but not a fan. Yeah, kind of weird how that turned out. Yeah, kind of is. Like the so the purple one, I'm honestly 
compared to all the other, thank you, Randall, source of names, Hair Splitter is apparently thank his you. name. Thank um, you, Sage and Hair Splitter. Thank you, Randall. We, we really appreciate your <laughs> help here because Christian was, so was probably going to, he was probably going to have to run circles around his block screaming if we did not fix yeah. that. Yeah. That's the next step. Um, I'm disappointed in the purple one because, like, I feel like all the other target masters, all the other guns, I'm sorry to say, not the axe. The axe didn't really get anything special treatment. But the other two of the gun master guys, um, they honestly got really good paint on them. And this one still got some additional paint, just a little teeny bit. But it just doesn't, it doesn't look as much better as the other ones. It's also a terrible chest peg mode. I know Frank has got like two extra paint apps and they're really small in the chest there, but it makes such a difference than it did with Firebolt. This I looks awesome. I don't even care. So <laughs> All the grays together and the highlights. Yeah. Oh, it's fantastic. It's definitely it's my favorite design. target master from, um, what is this line called? Siege. Um, from Siege so far. I just don't know names right now. Yeah, yeah, so we, we this is such a fantastic show. One of our hosts it, it's, is it's nice to it's like uh, we we just started doing like releasing the audio podcast, you know, like this is just fantastic <laughs> for the, the audio listeners. Oh, we can't like, audio now. Yay. <laughs> yeah, it's like uh yeah. Look yeah, at we, this. Look at this guy. This guy's his name I can't remember. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah. Well, look, look at this guy. Who's this guy again? Like Okay, the one I'm really excited about is Fracas, right? Right? Yeah. I say Fracas, but yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I I have no idea how you pronounce words in English, as we know from Sprayer. Um, however, with Fracas, I think it's the first time you've openly laughed at how I say Sprayer on the show. <laughs> it's because I wasn't expecting it. I, I think I win by losing. Um, <laughs> anyway, Marcus, you can go with one of your crappy scourges and hang out. Um, really good. <laughs> and now everyone else will, will go back and play it over and over and be like, how does she say Sprainer weird? Oh, no. Uh, they'll never hear me speaking well again. <laughs> Should I tell you that she said another one weird? No, I won't tell you that she said another one weird. Can you tell me after the show? We'll see how I react. I'll tell you after the show. You don't want me to cry on camera. I do not. I like you too much for that. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. So, anyway, as we were saying, the Target Masters, most for the most part, they have um, they have good paint apps. They look better. They're worth having, I suppose. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Apparently, Paul Paul is noticing that I have some figures that. Uh, there you go, Paul. Is that is that better for you? <laughs> uh, there's fewer than there used to be. That's true. But you know, are, yeah. That's one I way to say I said. I think only one of these target masters is one I would have missed, and it's Shroot slash Hair Splitter. That's only because Spinister's coming, and he wasn't an individual pack. So, the others. Uh, I guess I'm glad they're there, but if they could have not been there and decreased the cost, you know, I don't, I don't, I didn't need a purple axe dinosaur. I am super pumped for Spinister though, so I'm really glad to have a friend for him, at least yeah. one. Hopefully, we get the other one soon. I, yeah, the I other would, one is in a single pack. I, I would rather okay. have these though than the like retail molds, but just because they have extra paint on them. So. Agreed. I, I guess if if you're the type of person you're like, oh, well, I want a Target Masters, but I'm waiting. You know, I, I I guess this is a way to to do it. You think that's why Hair Schroeder doesn't have extra paint apps, so he won't look more painted than his retail buddy. I I, I overthink think, everything. I do think that. Conspiracy theories. Good name. I'm going to use it from now on. By the way. Hair Schroeder. It'll help me remember it, so thanks. It will. You'll know both then. So, yeah, I think we've gone through all the figures, right? So, yep. we just talked about $100 worth of figures. <laughs> there, there you go. And, and I did, uh, while you were talking, I did transform uh, 
um, whatchamacallit, uh, Skywarp to his vehicle mode. Oh, good. So, oh, yeah, I, also transformed, I transformed Slam Dance back to robot mode and did not break him again, so. There you go. So I think we should do, that should have been the entire show, Christian, like, where you just transform him back and forth like ten times in a row. Okay. Oh, yeah, there's a good one. That'll so, be on the Patreon content. There you go. <laughs> Outtakes. So, so and yeah, and, in his vehicle mode. He looks cool. Unicron watch. Uh, Unicron is officially past 5,000 backers, so. It's going to make it. Yay. It's going to be That's funny. All, the, all, all those I think I have to start to get it. We got until Saturday to figure it out. Uh, I'll figure it out. I, you know, just did things like bought a whole bunch of figures in a car, so probably I shouldn't. I found a way yeah. to kick it down the road a little bit further. So I, I, I did back in a roundabout way. I, I could do that too. I thought about it, but man, paying that premium of like $150, just the logic, the logical person in me won't let myself do it. Anyway, it that's how it's nice. Yeah, Unicron about. can't drive you to work, unfortunately, right? Like that's not one of the features that they showed off. No, they made the better choice in getting upgrading my car instead of upgrading my Unicron. That was a better use. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Let's well, have a pocket too. Maybe we should have a quick show on Saturday night after, uh, after it ends either way, and just kind of talk about it. Talking about unicorns. Yeah. When is the show? Or I'm sorry. When is it ending? What what time? I don't know what time. It's just Saturday. I know. Okay. The other one ended in the Maybe. morning, so I have a feeling this one will end in the morning too. Yeah, we should probably. Let, let, I thought it. I thought we'll, it we'll ended at like midnight or something, though. No, it could be fine. We might do that. Yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe. I already well, said we're going to do a show this week for TFLP. Maybe we'll just like get on real quick, like you know, while we're having coffee or something in the morning, and and say, hey guys. Do I get a show? It. Or darn, we didn't. We didn't make it. It got cookie monstered. <laughs> too monster. soon lucas poor cookie monster any other I, comments we need to address before we head out i mean i think it's uh do we recommend these toys or not time so do we recommend that people drop a hundred dollars on repaints okay so here's my issue with yeah. the slam dance and and uh sideswipe like I really, I really enjoy that mold. I really like it, right? However, the masterpiece sideswipe like goes for like nothing, right? Like I think he goes for like fifty bucks himself, right? Something like that. Like I don't know if it's still on clearance on BB on Big Bad Toy Store or not. Um, and it comes with a bunch of other cool stuff, right? Like the G two one, you mean the G two the G two masterpiece yeah. sideswipe. So. If I had fifty dollars and I did not have any of those figures, I mean, like the, you know, unless I really wanted the, you know, Grand Slam Rain Dance, you know, whatever thing, like unless I was really wanting that, I would spend that fifty dollars on either the Masterpiece Sideswipe, or the other option is is their Iron Factory has a, a cool G2 Sideswipe uh, out as well that is also I don't know forty or fifty bucks something like that. I think it's forty. So. That would be my recommendation to get that, even though there's nothing wrong with this. Like, I love the mold. I think that they did a really good job of it and all that. I just, you know, I like, I don't know. I have a hard time saying it's like a must must buy, even though they did it well. I think you may have just encouraged me. I think you may have just convinced me to sell this. I, I think I might just get rid of it and get the G2 Masterpiece instead. Because I do really like the way that looks, even though I'm not a huge fan of the Masterpiece mold. That, yeah, I don't like the Masterpiece mold that much, but I needed Slam Dance, so I had to get this one. Yeah. I was already thinking about selling my Slam Dance, so I might end up selling them, but not the Target Master. There you go. Wow. I love Target Masters. I want to own them all. They're my mini cons. <laughs> I use them for energy. Good. Yeah, it's hard to say that, you know, altogether these are worth 100 bucks. I mean, I guess it's the retail cost of them. Yeah, if you're like me and you really don't want two of the exact same mold, 
these will disappoint you after a few minutes because you will realize there's no remolding on any of them, even on the one that could have really, like, you know, had a distinct look to it. Um, yeah. And that might disappoint you. If you're a completionist, totes get them. And if you would rather have one version of the molds, you don't care who they are, these are all painted better than their original resale releases. That's so true. if no, you wanted no to way. ditch yeah. your Starscream and get Skywarp, if you wanted to ditch your um, uh, well, um, flywheels and get this, um, you'd be better off. And if you wanted to ditch your G1 sideswipe or G2 sideswipe, you'd be better off as well. So, yeah. I mean, know, I it could be an upgrade. If you're definitely, like, if you want a new slam dance, like, I think this is a must get. Like, I think that that's really where it's kind of, if it's a G2 sideswipe that you're after, like, you know, I, I wouldn't bother, but. The Skywarp or whatever, like, I, w I mean, you have to complete the set, right? Like, so, to, to uh -huh. me, I think he's a must-buy just because, like, I need all three Seekers um, for myself. So, yeah. Paul Paul's is, uh, it, uh, doesn't like your comment about ditching Starscream. Starscream is totes getting ditched. Like, that is a for sure one. I don't need another Starscream. Huh? Starscream is the worst of the Seekers from Siege. No. Ditch that no. and they get oh, the power of the Ion Prime Storm? mold, right? Ion Storm. Blue Storm. Bolt. Storm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Blue Storm is definitely meh. And Green I just Storm and Banana Storm are both fine. I, I just want to see you be like, yeah, get rid of Starscream. I already had the power of the Prime molds. Like, I love that mold so much. Oh, that would have been awesome because I probably would have made like Paul drop his drink that he currently had if I said that out loud. Or, or the, he, I, I've already got that in the Cyberverse Warrior class or whatever. Like between the two of those, like I've got oh, some star screams, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm still well, thinking about buying more Cyberverse figures. I have a problem. <laughs> I, I was gonna say you have to get the Thundercracker um, just because he comes with the face. Um, I don't know if I like show them off or whatever, right? So he has a smirking face, right? So you have to get this in order to put that face on Starscream. Yeah, but Red Wing has it too, right? He does, Red but he's a a his face is a different color. Oh, okay. His face is white, so. That's cool. I got meteor. I'm good. <laughs> or, or you can get, you know, that. I am meteor for now. I don't know. I'm kind of thinking about not keeping them. But that's a story for another day. So in the end, like, these are good figures. They do look nice. The paint is better. They, are, I mean, like, if you don't have these molds and you want to own a copy of them, it's a good purchase. If you're a completionist, you won't be disappointed. If you're just wanting to have a new version of this here guy, then you won't be sad either. When you say this here guy, you mean slam dance. I do, I do. I just don't want to say names out loud right now. Yeah, but remember it's that nice. this is an audio podcast now. So yeah, oh, Dana, it. you're right. Ah, I always forget about that. I'm just trying to have a personality. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I, guess, I guess for worth, you're going to have to decide for yourself if it's worth it. They're all good figures. Yeah. Though, I, think. I think we all agree on that. I don't actually have regrets on them at all. I just only want one in each mold, so I'm going to eventually pull down so that I do. Oh, you know what I was thinking, Anna? You know what we should do is, uh, in the coming weeks, we should do a Cyberverse show, because you got yourself a couple Cyberverse figures, didn't you? Didn't you get a Cheetor? Oh, two. I have a Cheetor, and then I have the, like, tiniest version of Slipstream. Because mm. I like Slipstream, and I want a good Slipstream figure, which I have not gotten yet. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, why did you buy the Cyberverse, then? Because it was cheap, and I was I was jonesing or something. I don't know. I just did it. It was a weird day. Yeah, Dron had had that too. I think he got one of the Sharkticons, right? And was like, because he was like, all right, I, I broke down and got it. Oh, yeah. Or, or whatever. And I remember seeing that. No, yeah. I actually kind of, I like the Cheetor, though. I think it is, it probably won't stay in my collection for very long, but I like it. I think it's a neat thing. So I would totally do a Cyberverse show at this point. So I do want to talk about, I don't know, it's role in the fandom. Yeah. I, um, yeah, I, I want to actually track down the uh, Skybite and the Cheetor both. So 
I have not seen them in the wild yet. So I haven't seen the sky bite, and I might sky bite on that one as well if I were to see it. Yep, I I, I did the joke. It's all good. There you go. So, yeah, I have not actually, like, Cyberverse is not something I hunt or whatever. I have to, like, be surprised by it in the wild, so. You know what? You can have fun with your Transformers sometimes, so whatever. Cheetor is the last skill on height, and he looks okay. Did the Cyberverse, did they have a Deathlock? What? Well, oh, Ran- De- Randall Deadlock. said he almost yes, bought. Uh, what's that? Deadlock. Is he coming? Yeah. Oh, he's okay. Coming. That's cool. Yeah. Huh. So I guess means they'll be there eventually. Interesting. I'm sure. I guess. I guess. Weird characters to put in the kids' show, but hey, what else? Yeah, it's really an interesting collection of characters that they've had. It really so, is. So, yeah. Anyway. All right. Well, I guess we've, uh, we're have we running into an hour now, so we probably should uh, get going. We've overstayed our welcome. So now so we're much from leave. micro. I know, right? Exactly. And, and, and this is on, like, repaints, too. So it's, <laughs> we're not even doing original figures. But I hey. think we talk longer on the repaints, because otherwise we talk about good figures, and we get done fast. Oh, how dare I? Hmm. Anyway. All right. So, or we could talk, talk about Springer again, right? Stop it. <laughs> you tried to say it like me, didn't you? I think I heard it. Uh, I heard it too. Maybe just a little bit. I don't know. Anyway, um, so uh, tomorrow night, out to my wallet. Uh, I think that we are pushing it back to a, a little bit later because um, uh, to accommodate Anna's class schedule. So I, I think, teach till nine. I can't just like in the middle of class be like, sorry guys, gotta switch to my podcast. <laughs> you could. You could. I mean, nothing is stopping you, but. Um, you may get some complaints or whatever, so. Yeah, anyway. let's not do that. I like my job. Yeah, so. Anyway, so yeah, tomorrow night, I think we're doing it live, but I think it's going to be a little bit later, like at 9.15, yeah. 9.30, something 9:15. like that. So, anyway. Um, we, well, let's just preface with saying ish, you know, because I, be I, I feel like it's kind of like how this is 9 o'clock, but it's ish, so. Anyway, all right. Well, uh, good night, everybody, and we'll uh, good night, see you everyone. Tomorrow. See you later.